What's up, guys? How's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome to... Whoa, holy crap, the 30th episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Wow, jeez. I mean, to me, it feels like we just started the game the other day, and yet we're already 30 episodes in, guys. But you know, it's been a hell of a game, and I've enjoyed having you guys along for the whole ride, and it's just been a total blast. I'm glad that it's gone on as long as it has. But, um, before I get all caught up in that sentimental crap... Um, welcome back, guys. It's good to have you here today. We're here again with Vic Vance outside the apartment of our brother, Lance Vance. And, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and jump right into the game. I can think of no better way to start off the episode. Alright, light my pyre. Ooh, sounds like someone's dying today. Or maybe we just get to use Molotovs. Wait. Hey, Vic. Hey. Hey, where's Louise? I don't know. But shit, that bitch ripped us off. I'll rip our head off. Hey, Whoa, man, calm the fuck like down. No, she is a drug addict. I'm just having fun. There is a difference. Vic, Vic, oh, hey, it's Rosie O'Donnell. What? They had me too. It was awful. Wait, what? All these men all sweaty and hot and well, nobody laid a finger on me, but they got Louise. What? Louise. They got her and they said they'll kill her if you don't do what they want. Who? Armando Mendes. Oh, oh he wanted me too. I yeah, whatever, Shamu. No one cares. Latino men always like the voluptuous women. I nearly got taken. Please, the only way you could attract a man would be with your gravitational pull. Why? She's a train wreck. Let him have her. The fuck did you just say? Yeah, move on. Lance, I'm officially revoking your bro card. Get moving right now, or I'll shoot you first. Alright, alright, I'm I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Wait. I'm telling you, it was nearly me. For the last time, Paula Dean, no one cares. One day. Oh, just go home and watch the Food Network. You'll get over it. Being abducted is seriously overrated anyway. Come on, move it, Lance. Man, we're wasting our time. The bitch is dead already. Armando's got two things to say. One, get out of ice now and the girl lives. And two, my car! Crap. Well, okay, are you going to be serious now, Lance? Uh, want to let me get on the bike before we leave? We are saving my girlfriend, after all. Um... Wow, did he really leave me with no vehicle? That's just great. Excuse me, officer, I need to commandeer this for official drug lord business. Wait, Lance is under attack, I need to protect him? Are you serious? Oh, and there's a bike right over there. Well, why couldn't they give that to me before? Damn it, right when I started to like Lance, he has to go and be a bitch in this mission. But okay, Louise, don't you worry. I'm coming for you. Dang it, that's why we should have just taken out the Mendez brothers a long time ago. Then we wouldn't be having all this trouble. And jeez, there's a lot of dudes here. Okay. Lance, can you slow down just a little bit and kind of, like, move out of the way so I don't accidentally shoot you? Well, uh, anyway, guys, while we're uh, racing around town with Lance, uh, I hope that your day is going well. I also hope that the number of high-speed car chases and drive-bys in your area are being kept to a minimum. It would really suck to live in Vice City. All your neighbors are these crime lords driving around popping dudes at every chance they get. All your tax money goes to bright neon lights instead of law enforcement. Average life expectancy can't be much higher than 20 to 25 at best. You constantly have to worry about wearing neutral colors so that gangs don't just shoot you for no reason. But hey, at least you can go see Phil Collins in concert. But anyway, it's my guess that I think we're going probably up towards the Mendez Mansion. I mean, if they have Louise, we have to. I mean, wow, Lance, really? It took your car game blown up in order to motivate you? Saving your brother's girlfriend isn't enough? I'll never understand, Lance, as long as I live. But, um, good news, guys. I went ahead and I recorded the rest of the Fable Let's Play. So, um, I actually have about five or six episodes worth of stuff recorded that takes us all the way through to the end of the game. So, um, very shortly we will be completing the Fable Let's Play, and I imagine we're not too far from completing Vice City Stories either. Um, it seems like the game's picking up at a pretty brisk pace, so we're probably not too far away from ending it off. But, um, that basically means... Whoa, Lance, can you get out of my way? I want to shoot you, man. Um, but that basically means that we'll have two new Let's Plays coming up on the channel once these games are done. Um, like I already mentioned before, the, uh, Let's Play that will be replacing Vice City Stories is going to be another Grand Theft Auto game. I'm uh, going to keep that under wraps until I actually do complete this game, though, because I don't know how far away we are from it being finished. But, um, I've also already gone ahead and picked the game that will be replacing Fable once I complete that. So um, I'm pretty excited for the new lineup. It'll certainly be keeping me busy for quite a while. But it looks like we're coming up on Prawn Island over here, so let's get ready to take these fools down. 
And I'm actually just noticing my armor is really low. Uh, Lance, don't go alone, buddy. It's time for some Vance vengeance, baby! Kidnap my brother's girlfriend, and it's cool. But God help you if you blow up my car, goddammit. I will rain upon you with a vengeance so mighty and swift that you will regret the day you ever crossed Lance Vance! Seriously, though, I love how we just let him go off on his own and we're waiting here on the bridge. But, um, I hope there's an armor drop over there because on the ride over here I didn't notice this, but since I'm on a motorcycle, um, it was actually easy for the guys that we were shooting at to take some of my armor out. I know there's a health pickup over there by the water fountain outside the mansion. This over here, so I guess I'll stick close to that in case I need it. Take out these cars first. Damn, there's a lot of guys posted around here. Oh, really, buddy? You just had to get in my way. I'm really tempted to just whip out my rocket launcher and blow these guys away. I mean, we totally could. It would just be really dangerous and I'd probably kill myself, too. Maybe I'll save that for when I run into all the Mendez brothers. I imagine we're probably going to encounter them here. Alright. What way do I have to make my way around this place? Uh, what would be the easiest way? Oh, God. I am so close to dying here. Alright, I'm going to try and get the high ground on them. My god, I am so close to dying here. How are you supposed to do this mission? I can't find any health or armor pickups anywhere. Maybe I should just go back and grab that health after I've cleared these guys out. Okay, crap. Please don't take any fall damage. And we're just going to take a chance here, I think. Ugh. Don't die. Alright. Oh god, oh god, we gotta get in that marker. Run, run, run. Whew, okay. We're inside the mansion. Let's... Oh yeah, just announce your presence. You think you're hero enough to bring back the dead? Where are they, Armando? They're upstairs resting, in peace. Oh god, he has Would a flamethrower. Like Fuck. You hurt them. Senor, I assure you, they didn't feel a thing. Unfortunately, the same will not be said of you. Oh my god, oh Jesus, okay. Run the hell away from I that thing. No oh no, we got the stupid top-down view too? Oh my god, thank goodness we got armor pickups and health pickups here. Okay, oh god, oh god, oh god. I can just barely outrun that. Okay, this isn't too bad, so we just gotta take pot shots at him while we run away. Oh god, there are more people coming into the room? Shit. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna shoot at him. You can do it, Vic. Tank it like a beast. Woo, we got him. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Wait, did I die or did I beat him? Oh, come on, please. Yes, okay, awesome. Oh no. We gotta get you to a hospital. You came for me. No one ever really did much for me before. That's sweet of you. Hey, oh, God. Let's get you to a hospital. I don't think there's much point in that. No, seriously, the hospitals here are great. Come I've been on. shot half a dozen times in the face, and they just patch you me up good as new every time. Something special. Yeah. We did have something special. Make sure Mary Jo takes care of my baby. Oh, God. No, you can't let her die, Vic. Damn it. Wait, wait, where's Diego? I know he's still in here somewhere. Let's fucking get that bastard. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, how you doing, Lance? I, I know you cared about her, man. Wait, was he just pretending to be dead? She wasn't you right prick. For you. Vic. Hey, Vic. Family's what matters. Not when I got family like you. Damn. Alright. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna make it. I can make it. I know I can, man. I can't believe you let her die, Lance. Okay, it's time we get these assholes. So now we probably hunt down Diego, right? I want to do this right now. Done messing around. I don't have any icons on my map, though, so I'm just going to drive around until I get a text or something that makes them pop up. Um, before I drive off, though, let me go ahead and grab this health pickup right here. God, those goons really took a big chunk out of my health. If it wasn't for the game fading to black there, I would have been screwed. I guess I killed Armando just in time. 
One bastard Mendez down, one to go. I know just the way to smoke him out. Okay, that's uh, Ricardo Diaz texting us. Good, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, before I go down to the Diaz mansion, though, I'm going to stop over since we're right next to ammunition anyway. And uh, that way I can grab some armor because I'm in desperate need of it. But okay, wow, since we're already killing the Mendez brothers, we must be really close to the end of the game. I mean, I knew it was starting to build up to that, but now that we got rid of one of them, it sounds like we're going to take care of uh, Diego in the next mission. We must be getting really damn close to the end of the game. I wonder if I have enough time to finish it off today. Let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how far we get. Thing is, I don't know when the last mission is going to happen because I've never beaten the game before. And I don't really want to look it up and spoil it for myself. But um, anyway guys, actually some pretty cool news. Um, you may or may not have already noticed this yourselves, but... I just took a glance at my YouTube stats the other day and I noticed I have 300 videos uploaded. And that totally happened without me paying attention at all. I completely missed that. And I just noticed it really the other day. So I just want to thank you guys. Um, I was planning to do an upload when I reached 250 videos. I never got around to it. Whoa, those trees popped in and out. That was kind of crazy. Um, I was planning to do an upload back when I had 250 videos. And um, I just never really found the time to get around to it because I was busy getting these uh, Let's Plays finished up. Because I was really getting into them. But, um, I guess now I'm already up to 300 videos, maybe I should just do a 300 video celebration thing or something like that. But, uh, I just want to thank you guys for sticking around for this long, if you guys are still watching these things. And, um, while some of the enjoyment in doing this definitely comes from actually sitting down to play the games and recording these videos, um, a lot of why I like doing this and why I continue to do this and have been doing it for so long is because of you guys. And for every person who finds enjoyment or gets something out of one of my videos, I just feel that much more accomplished and motivated to make more. I mean, the coolest feeling in the world is definitely having you guys tell me how much you enjoy the stuff that I make, and knowing that when I upload a video that you guys are eagerly awaiting to see it. It just, it, it, it's a really cool feeling, and it's hard to describe, but I want to thank you guys for affording me the opportunity to entertain all of you. But uh, enough on that, let's go ahead and get into the next mission, Over the Top. Hopefully we get to uh, deal with Diego in this one. And actually, we still have Martinez to take care of too, don't we? <laughs> oh, big fans! You ready? Oh, hell yeah. It's time for you to revenge the death of that girl of yours. And bring the whole Mendez operation down! Sweet. <laughs> you want a bump, man? No. Well, I do. Uh, ah, Jesus. Yep, I'm right here. My spies tell me everything. This is the plan. The army just took delivery of some new attack helicopters. Meanwhile, Diego Mendez thinks he's untouchable just because no one could get him from the ground. So... So, how about I sneak into the army base, steal a chopper, and use that to attack him? <laughs> Whoa, game pretty ambitious there, Vic. Si, senor. Are you kidding me? Damn, dude, you're inhaling that stuff like it's air. That coke is doing something to your brain, buddy. No, it just helps me think and get it on. It'll be easy, but you need help. Uh, what about Quentin? He can fly? No, oh, fuck thanks. that. I don't need his help. I know. What about this guy, Phil? He's an old army buddy of mine. I love him. Go get him. All right. This is it, man. No more Mendez. No more trouble for us. <laughs> are we going to do this all in one mission? Like, are we going to steal the copter and then fly over and kill Diego? I imagine Martinez is probably guarding it at the base, so maybe we take him out in this one. Oh man, this is exciting. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun, though. We're getting into the really intense stuff here. Oh, so we have to go see Phil. Oh man, have I broken the news to him yet about Louise? Does he even know? I forgot they were even related for a second. Shit. Although, that would be really, really cool if he helped me take down Diego. I can think of no better revenge than having both Phil and I take him down. And he's the explosives guy, right? So if I had to take a guess, maybe a sense... Because I think if you go to the army base now, ever since we've gotten kicked out, they won't actually let you in without, like, a police vehicle or something along those lines. Oh, God. Oh, shoot, those are Mendez's goons. I totally didn't even catch that. Um, you know, let's stop here and take them out if we can. That way we won't have to deal with them when we have Phil with us, hopefully. Um, crap, crap, crap. Would you like to get out of your car, please, so I can shoot you? 
Oh my god, they're just taking chunks out of my armor like crazy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, crap. Alright, you know what? At times like this, I'm glad I brought a rocket launcher. Now is the perfect time to whip this bad boy out. I think I see them right over there. Alright, we're good to go. Let's take this motorcycle, why the heck not? Hopefully Phil has something better we can drive over there because it looks kind of beat up. But um, like I was saying, hopefully with Phil, he's going to provide us explosives or something. Because I imagine we'll need that to actually get into the army base. That'd be pretty cool if we could like blow up the front entrance or something like that. I really hope that the thing we're stealing is going to be an Apache. Um, we already saw the Apache once way earlier in the game when Martinez was chasing us across the uh, bridge to the other half of Vice City. He was piloting one and shooting rockets at us. We haven't actually gotten a chance to use one ourselves yet. But these things rain death. They're absolutely awesome. Bill, I don't know what to say. I'm going after Diego Mendez. I wouldn't ask for help if I didn't need it, but I need it. Damn, if Phil's normally drunk all the time, imagine how he is now. If I can get hold of it. <clears throat> you need a decoy. Then I got all the decoy you're gonna need. Woo, alright, Phil. That's what I like to hear. Now that we got ourselves some backup. Okay, good. We can take Phil's truck. Oh, damn, what's all that he's got in the back? That is a shit ton of bombs. We are going to mess these guys up good. But, um, yeah, since we have to drive over to the military base, uh, real quickly, guys, I just wanted to let you know, there may be a period coming up later on in August where I need to take a quick break, um, because I'm going to be getting my wisdom teeth pulled out, and I'm not sure if I'm going to really be up to recording videos right after that happens. I'm actually getting all four of them taken out at the same time, so uh, I'll probably be loopy for about a week or two just because of all the Vicodin or whatever painkiller they end up giving me to deal with that. Really not looking forward to doing it, but I feel like it really has to get done immediately because my teeth are starting to kill me. Um, I just noticed my wisdom teeth coming in earlier in the month, and it's just gotten to the point now where I need to get them taken out of my mouth because they're so painful. But yeah, I'm planning to have that done later on in August, probably towards the end of August. Um, I think that the date I have set for that right now is August 23rd, so I'll let you guys know more about what my plans are once we get closer to that date. But I um, just want to give you a heads up, just in case I end up not recording videos for a short while. Um, what I may do to make up for that is record a bunch of videos in advance, just so that I have a stockpile of them so I can keep on uploading even while all that's going on. But um, I'll, I'll try and plan it out as best as I can, and hopefully there won't be too much downtime, but if there is, I do apologize. It's just that I really do need to get this taken care of. But okay, let's see what Phil has planned here. You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you, man? We're breaking into a military base and I'm drunk. What could be more stupid? Don't Fair. worry about me. Don't worry about me. Oh my god. Whoa, Phil, you go, bro. Suck on that! Uh, didn't really do a whole lot, though, honestly. Oh, so that's just going to be a distraction so we can jump over the wall. Okay, I thought he was trying to blow the wall up, and I'm like, Phil, you kind of failed there. But okay, way to go, kamikaze style. I'm probably going to have to be a little more careful than I would really like to, uh, just because that ambush a little bit earlier, Mendez's thugs, they took a pretty big chunk out of my armor. Ooh, I wonder if I can just, like, walk along the wall here. Um, no, it looks like I'll probably bump into a spotlight or something, won't I? Oh, well, let's just give it a shot and see how far I get. Yeah, no, I'm not really liking that. That spotlight's gonna see me. I'm gonna try and hug the fence here, and hopefully I don't get caught. Oh, man, I should've gotten a silenced weapon. Are there silenced weapons in this game? I forget. Oh, well, too late for that. Stealthiness has just gone down the drain. This reminds me in Vice City, uh, back in Vice City you could actually use a cop uniform that you got from doing one of the Malibu Club missions with, uh, Tommy Versetti. And, uh, using that you could actually infiltrate the military base without getting a wanted level. Because, um, normally if you entered the military base you would automatically get a really high wanted level. But, uh, using the cop suit negated that effect. So you could actually get right into the military base and steal, like, a uh, Apache helicopter, which is pretty badass. I always use the Apache to do the uh, vigilante missions, either the Apache or the Rhino tank, because uh, those two vehicles, they can destroy pretty much anything. But crap, looks like they're trying to stop us from actually getting it. Okay, three minutes, that's plenty of time. This is a really small military base, too. It's not going to take us that long to get there. Especially, uh, I think I saw, like, a Patriot outside that we can take, so maybe we can use that to race on over, and that way I won't take damage, either. 
Okay, we got this planned out. We're the man with the plan. Vic Vance gonna rob the army blind. Although I am still waiting for Martinez to show up because he ought to be around here somewhere. Maybe once we get an Apache, we'll have a showdown. That would be really cool if you had, like, dog fighting Apache battles with Martinez as, like, the final battle. Oh, man, that would be so cool. I really hope that's what it is now. I'll be disappointed if it's not that badass. I realize now that I think I like Let's Playing games I haven't beaten more than Let's Playing games that I have beaten. Because even though I'm not that knowledgeable in, like, the things that go on in this game, it's kind of a fun experience to be doing something for the first time and catching it on video. And it makes for really good motivation to pump out the videos quicker just because I'm really excited to see what happens myself. But, um, okay, yes, this thing is awesome. Probably one of my vehicles in the entire game. Okay, yeah, so we got some rockets here we can fire, and we also have a little minigun. Um, the rockets you fire with circle, I guess, and the minigun with R1, at least on the uh, PS3 or PS2 controller, whatever you're using. And um, while this, the Apache isn't as indestructible as the Rhino tank, I think I'd have to say I prefer the Apache to the Rhino tank, just because it moves a lot quicker and you can soar through the air, and it's basically a Rhino tank that can fly through the sky. It's... I don't know, it is so incredible, and it's kind of iconic to Grand Theft Auto. Whenever you think of Grand Theft Auto, you think of two things. You think of the Apache, and you think of the Rhino tank, at least to me. So I guess after we land this, though, on the helipad, I'll probably end things off for now. We probably kill Diego in the next mission, now that we actually have it. Maybe we'll actually get Lance to help us out this time. Okay, cool. And you know what, at this point, I don't really even need the money. It's nice that you gave me that, Diaz, but this is a revenge mission. I don't need cash. Okay, let's see. Really? Martinez, you have the balls to text me? It's time to settle things between you and me. I'll be seeing you real soon, Vic. Oh man, it must be the final mission coming up really soon. Alright, so guys, I think that's going to end off the episode for now, though. We are way over time. Um, we are fastly approaching the end of the game, which is so exciting for me, and I really can't wait to see how the final mission it is, how if it's epic, and... Oh god, okay, it's gonna be cool. Got me all tongue-tied. But uh, yeah, that'll be next time. So, until then, guys, thanks for checking this video out. Once again, my name is GSK Sadia, and if you like this episode, please feel free to subscribe to me, and that way you can stay updated when I post new content to my channel. But anyway, guys, that's all for now, so until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out, and wishing you well. Peace.